the only way to play a game like this is restarting a thousand times until you get a legendary upgrade right away. Now every choice moving forward gives me an extra choice which means even more legendary upgrades which means even more damage. And right away it's paying dividends with a very basic upgrade but this little bit of damage means I one shot these guys so I kill them faster and that just makes me feel good inside. Every time we're gonna get those extra choices and they're all gonna make a big difference let's gain a little bit of attack speed. Because as we start to get more and more idiots we're gonna start to get more and more stronger idiots that take three shots to kill. I think I can live with that so far. So let's take 5% chance of dealing a critical hit, which puts us up to 1 in 10, but we're already feeling adequately powered. Oh, look at that. All blue and then one gold. Your projectiles bounce one more time. Yes, please. These ones don't bounce in any particular direction but my brain doesn't in particular work in one direction let's gain a little bit more damage we're going from 50 to 60 and we have a blanket with a health bar uh our arrows are bouncing into it somewhat basically the more idiots that are on screen the more damage we're gonna do because things are gonna bounce into them all the blanket is dead come on legendary when your projectile should be destroyed reduce their damage by 50 percent and pierce so now not only are they bouncing but they'll pierce through the second enemy and you know what i'm actually gonna take some health because health can turn into damage at some point, and the more health we have, the more damage we'll do. So far, I'm liking this build. It's rather overpowered rather quickly. And since we have a 10% uh, bonus to crit chance, we're going to take that. 1 in 5 is now a crit as well. We can even let the idiots uh, clump up a little bit. That way, the arrows are extra efficient. We wouldn't want to waste any ammo. I guess on this one, just take an extra 10% crit damage. That puts us up to 30, which is already really, really high. We're still one-shotting basic idiots, so damage is pretty reasonable right where it is. But I'll always take projectiles bounce one more time. Absolutely. So now we get two bounces. So we'll put that to the test. There's a boss on the map. We'll hold that thought for just a second. We're going to gain more damage. We're going to go from 60 to 75. So we had a 25% damage increase. So the boss isn't melting entirely, but he's not lasting super long at the same time. Permanently raise your attack speed by 30%. Half your shots are less precise. I'll take that. So yeah, we don't need precise shots when they bounce this much anyway. Eventually we'll be hitting everything because I'll be surrounded by idiots. It's really not going to matter. I've never really been about precision. I've just been about kind of brute forcing it until it works somehow. So in this gets take a little bit more attack speed. That was actually a pretty big increase, like 20% overall, so that's not going to hurt one little bit. And then we got so many blankets and mummies on screen, which is great because they give me more experience for more upgrades, and I want upgrades because I need more legendary. And we'll settle for more health by two. But seven health already is pretty good. Oh, look at that. It's a man with hook for hands. We're going to need a little more damage, but also a lot more attack speed. We went from 2.7 to 3.3, so that was a big increase. And that means we can fire all the more arrows off to thin out the idiots for more upgrades. I want a gold damage and speed upgrade. Is that too much to ask? I've only had like 85 gold upgrades already. We need more. Maybe let's try this. Augments your damage by 30%, reduces your attack speed by 20. That should be a net gain, right? And the projectiles are faster, so they get to where they're going in a big hurry and kill everything quicker. And then we just gotta boost our attack speed again. We can uh, increase our damage a lot now, but attack speed's gonna be the one we need to make up for. All right, well, we're just gonna gain more damage right now. That gave us an extra 20 damage per arrow. And we are firing a lot of arrows still because they bounce and pierce so much. So we can start to turn these into crits pretty soon and all sorts of multiple arrows, so this'll be all right. Plus we have seven health already. We're actually really tough and high damage. And I assume at some point we'll be firing three arrows at once I guess we'll just take more health uh, because uh, three arrows at once will be a big boon to us and we don't need to aim. Actually four because we'll fire one up the rear as well. We'll get that upgrade anytime now. For now I'm just going to sit here and murder everything. And if the game wants to give me a gold upgrade at any point I wouldn't say no to that. Let's take 100% more crits. They're now doing triple damage. And I took my first bit of damage. Mostly from being lazy and we're starting to get gold coins on the ground. And I don't know why but it's always very satisfying to kill the tomato man. I don't know what it is about him in particular but he needs to die. Next we got another gold. One more about bounce on projectiles at some point these are just going to be redundant because they can't bounce any more than they already are they get off screen by the time they're done but i won't say no to those bounces i'm also getting lazy about getting hit too just because there's so much health on the ground that it feels like it doesn't really matter that much but i am going to need all those hearts later okay permanently augments your damage by 20 percent projectiles are 50 percent slower projectiles are already super fast so we're back up to about three per second on many bounces and much damage our base damage is at 40 now we can still turn that up quite a lot and we have lots of health so we can tank through a whole bunch of stupid stuff and i didn't even know where this guy came from or when i did all the damage to him it must have been a little bit off screen or we're just hitting really hard now i guess for this i'm gonna take three rerolls for object choices hopefully i can turn one of those into a gold object because that would make us super overpowered and super overpowered is something i've come to like and all those just gathered into that i'm gonna gain a little bit more attack speed again that was over 
like I think a 15% increase thereabouts. So that's uh, a lot more damage going out. I probably need more dashes. I realize I only have one and that's not going to do because I need to dash around these idiots a little bit quicker than I am to be able to pick up all the coins properly. We're going to take more damage. Went from 140 to 164. Whoops. So that's again another 15% increase really. And next I think I'm just going to take an uh, increased crit chance. So we're going to go from 30 to 35. So it's over one and three is a crit now, which is pretty ample considering all of our arrows hit at least three things. And then when we have a big mob of idiots like this, the arrows will bounce through them mercilessly and really help thin up the uh, whole horde of them. We do need to get the blanket wearing weirdo at uh, some point also. Yeah, when we hit the blanket guy, he like evaporated. Uh, I was trying to get that chest in a stupid way. That didn't really work. So maybe patience is not going to hurt me. There's so many upgrades everywhere now. This is getting good. What is this? Your shots pierce through one more enemy. Perfect. I think that has a cap on it, but now our arrows are hitting so many people. They're bouncing like three times and piercing two or something. Yeah, look at that. It just eliminated that. And this is where I have the ability to, to re-roll, and I think I'm going to because... I want better upgrades. I don't think any of these are good either, so I'm going to reroll these. I want a gold one. I'm maybe going to take this. If it's an ore that slows enemies near you by 50%, that way when they get close, they'll slow down and I'll laugh as they all die. See, it already works. Projectiles still go full speed, so I need to watch out for them. But at least when idiots get close, they probably die. Okay, let's do 100% more on crits. So no, 400%. We're doing quite a few crits, so yeah, we can just kind of melt guys. Pretty balanced build overall. We got toughness, we got damage, we got attack speed. Eventually, one of those stats is going to stand out. Ooh. Area of effect and pickup range by 40% is kind of nice, but so is a lot more damage. I'm going to take damage. We don't really have any area of effect right now anyway. I guess my slowdown thing is probably area of effect. Didn't really think of that. Anyways, we committed to a whole bunch more damage. And whatever standing behind it also dies. And whatever standing behind that and that and that also die. I think we can hit like five enemies at once with our arrows. Maybe even six. And they all do a lot of damage. Also just realized how low our health is getting. So I need to find where I left all those hearts before. I was getting lazy assuming I couldn't die. Then I remembered I could. Okay, I found some of them. We'll go up to uh, six out of nine. Here's an upgrade I like. The golden damage upgrade from 195 to 240 that's such a big increase that's almost a joke oh right in time for the sheriff too i can't remember where he comes from there he is all right so we're gonna go ahead and shoot you ow okay we're gonna move back a little bit and not shoot you like that he's melting just a matter of getting the attacks off in time <laughs> that accuracy is getting a little annoying for bosses like this because uh it sucks to miss them but they do bounce. I could probably just tank on through this. I'm trying to do it kind of uh, professionally, which is strange for me. You know, maybe I'll just do that. I'm just going to tank through you. Yeah, go ahead and hit me. I don't care because you're dead. I don't have time for you. And that actually healed me anyway. If I'd known that healed me, I would have just tanked through the entire thing. There's a few good upgrades here. I'm going to take this. Your projectile bounces two more times. Projectiles that bounce do so in the opposite direction. So now when I start to get surrounded, which I will soon, uh, the projectiles are going to bounce back and forth and stay on screen, most importantly. They're not going to go out of frames and dissolve. I'm I'm sure I left a big hoard of coins somewhere here. I don't really remember where they were, so that's not super great. Well, whatever the case, we're doing 242 base damage, and we have a lot of bouncing, piercing arrows, and red coins are coming in. So, good news for us. We're doing a thousand on the crits, and we're doing quite a few crits. Just need a few more arrows and some attack speed, and we'll really be getting somewhere. We're not one-shotting basic level idiots anymore, so that's a bit concerning. We're gonna need to step up our damage. And, uh, Stabby Hands is back. He should die fairly easily. I don't think he has a lot of health, but normally he's very quick and annoying in that sense, but as you can see, if you crits on him really take him down so we'll just go ahead and, <laughs> and he slows down when he gets close to us too he's really got no chance of actually killing me so it's really just mean to kite him around but it's also kind of funny we could gain 60 percent crit chance right now but gain two times less damage but we'd have 100 percent crit chance basically so basically we'd actually be doubling our damage by taking this so i'm gonna go ahead and take that i've never really taken that before mostly because it scared me but now we are one-shotting again we've just got to keep our damage and crit damage especially up so let's just take a little bit more damage so that only added eight but that's still like a five-ish percent increase and that just means bigger crits and i like big crits i guess that was a good upgrade too because we are hitting so many different enemies with every single arrow so just raw damage is going to carry us through this we have another health bar already and that's good that means we get some treasure and i would love some treasure especially one that made me fire more arrows that's a big one we need right now i don't love any of these that one's interesting so we're going to reroll hopefully for something better well let's go for this for each current health get bigger we get 10 percent damage per health which is going to be big for us because we need damage to carry us through this now we're doing almost a thousand per arrow and that's uh we're very slow so we're gonna have to definitely wipe everything out as we kill them like <laughs> otherwise we're gonna die very quickly but i don't regret my choice we're gonna do so much damage it's gonna be absolutely stupid we need crit multipliers now every time we're gonna get lots of extra damage uh speaking of which your crits do 150 percent more damage so now we're doing 1300 and we got an achievement for that 1300 damage per arrow 
So we also need, uh, I guess, attack speed or more arrows, but either way, we're cleaning up, especially with piercing, bouncing arrows. Just gonna get myself to some relative safety, let some arrows go to kill a bunch of things. Come on, hit him. Yeah, there we go. Couple hits and he's dead. Oh, forgot about the TNT. Okay, I'm gonna have this two shields rotate around you to block uh, projectiles. That's just gonna save me from inadvertently taking damage sometimes because I'm not paying attention to projectiles that much anymore. I don't really have an excuse for that. I'm just being really lazy. At 1,200 damage, it doesn't matter. wonder if we can get this up over 10,000 damage because we're one-shotting most things already. Uh, another level up. Let's take 100% more crit damage, which is basically more damage for us in general. So now we're up to 1,422. Each one of those is adding over 100 damage. Oh, and the level of my health also has plays into the damage because at 8 health, we're doing 1,500. So if I pick up another heart, we should do another 100. Yeah, almost 1,600 now. So for better or worse, I need to keep my health up, but I also need more health because every health is going to add a lot of damage. But this is going to be a weird, stupid build eventually. It already is a weird, stupid build. It's very functional somehow. You want to see what luck looks like? Whatever this is, is luck. Look at all of these. I think I'm going to gain much more attack speed because it's gold so we're going to go from 3.3 to 4.4 per second so that's actually a, like a 30 33 percent increase in attack speed which is huge those were all beautiful upgrades but attack speed i think is going to be good because we're finding that many more bouncy arrows out there and they're all doing absolutely colossal damage to everything and when i get big hordes of enemies the bouncing arrows really go through them quickly it's getting a little bit harder to avoid damage so i'm going to need some dashes regardless which is kind of annoying i don't want to you know have to get dashes but dashes will keep my damage up uh, also, here comes the next Sheriff, so let's see what he does against my damage at this point. Um, it's gonna be a little bit hard to avoid these. Not hard, but annoying, I guess, is the proper term. But he's melting pretty quick. You think he'd throw the dynamite at me instead of sort of around me, but who am I to judge? Crazy Denzel is literally just letting me fire arrows at him for most of this. Uh, whoa, uh oh, I don't have any dash. Okay, the dash is gonna need to uh, be a thing because I'm just fast enough to move out of the way of these. He's actually throwing them at me finally. He's starting to learn. He is capable. He better have something amazing for me in his chest. Okay, this is what I needed. Triples your shot permanently reduces your attack speed by 30%, which didn't actually knock down the speed that much. We're just firing three times as many arrows for three times as much damage. And let's raise our maximum health by one because that's gonna increase our damage too. Now we're doing 1700 per arrow and we're firing three bouncy piercing arrows all at once. We are very, very slow though. Pretty soon we're just going to be stationary like we're not going to move but we're going to do so much damage i'm hoping it doesn't matter as long as we can avoid the few projectiles that come our way we'll be okay but as it is the bouncy arrows absolutely destroy everything move out of the way of projectiles shoot some more hmm more attack speed would be nice though. It doesn't have to be a ton, just some. More health too. I don't know what's a bigger upgrade is more health because I can't remember how big the upgrade is. We need more of everything though. Okay, I'm going to take this. Deal area damage each time you dash. That also gave me an extra dash, which I very much need. One dash is not enough to survive right now. Then again, it's not really surviving that's the option. It's just maneuvering. I just don't want to take damage because every time I get hit, I lose damage and I don't want to lose damage. I've grown really attached to all the damage I do. I really need it. Oh, that's very tempting. They already bounce five times though. I don't think they're even getting their full capacity of bouncing, so I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to take some attack speed to go from 3.1 to 3.3 per second. That was still mm, like a 15-20% increase, which is still good, because the more arrows we can get out, the more damage we're going to do. Damage isn't an issue at this point. Getting the arrows out there is. Oh, and there's a boss on the map. Let's see how quickly he dies. No, he's dead. Never mind. Here is one that's going to hurt the game. Deal 25% area damage each time your projectiles inflict a critical strike. I think I have a 95% crit chance at this point. Yeah, it's literally 95%. So explosion time. The explosions are doing 400 damage by themselves. And our arrows are bouncing and piercing. So, okay, I'm going to take a little bit more damage here. That's going to take us from 257 to 281. So our damage went up again. So we're 1700, I think. I can't see it's going too quick. But everything's dying really fast. Explosions are going to be fun. But 1800 base damage doesn't hurt either. Especially on bouncing, piercing arrows. So that's a really good synergy for us. I think basically all enemies will almost always be getting hit now. Because if they're not getting bounced or pierced they're getting exploded even when they get nice and close yeah so the movement speed isn't too much of an issue anymore collecting all the loot's kind of annoying when you're this slow okay let's do 100 percent more crit damage so now we're doing 2100 per shot so crit damage increases are going to be the way to go for a little while because these enemies are tough but like here's a boss to my left ow uh, so as soon as arrows go toward him, yeah, he's dead. And then what's he got for us? I think you're going to take this. You deal 50% more damage and your cooldowns are different when you have 50% or less health. That might save us because our damage is naturally going to drop as we lose health. So we need somewhere to put that back to save our lives. Because we're going to take a lot of damage as just goes on. We're just going to get swarmed by enemies. Our damage can keep up for a little while, but I don't know for how long. I'm just going to keep stacking crit damage, though. So hopefully we'll just keep one-shotting everything around us. And do all the bags of coins form into bigger bags of coins eventually? Because there's starting to be a lot of those out there. There's another boss. 
But as he comes close, I think he's going to be doomed. Yep, he's basically dead. Oh, gain much more attack speed. So we'll go from 3.35 to 4.8. So we're firing a lot more arrows suddenly. That was a really good upgrade. There's a few here like standing still gradually increases your attack speed. This one's kind of nice. Each time you dash, take one damage, but permanently gain 10. I think that's going to kill me though, because I need to dash a lot to cope with my thing. So we'll just do this where you, when you hold still, uh, attack speed increases. This is really going to make me pretty much invincible for a couple minutes, especially if I'm at full health for maximum, maximum damage. Attack speed's not going to be crazy, but damage is. So I'm basically going to sit here until I'm more or less forced to move, like with that fireball. And then I'll go kind of do the root in a sec, picking up all the upgrades. We'll get 10 levels up and we'll be stupidly even more overpowered. Because I'll be honest, 2100 damage is not good enough. I want to see double that. I want to see 5000 or 10,000 per arrow. I don't know what this is, but I already like the look of it. Shoot four times faster, but deal three times less damage. Do we want that? Yeah, let's try it. Super arrows. Okay, that's also working. We're doing 700 per arrow, but look at how many are going out there. And with all the bouncing, this is keeping the enemies at bay more. Okay, I'm going to start picking up some of these carefully, gingerly. Uh, there should be <laughs> plenty of upgrades out there for us. So we'll need to put a bit of that damage and crits and stuff back, but let's get a little bit more damage. We're going from 94 to 99. That's a 5% increase. That's actually really big still. And so we'll just take a few steps, shoot a billion arrows, take a few steps, shoot a billion arrows. Do I want more piercing? I don't think I don't think we can even use more piercing. Let's take under 50% more crits. So we're at 900% crits. So we're dealing uh, 900 now. 900 per arrow. And I can live with that. Oh, plus the explosions. I guess the explosions are doing less damage now because they simply do 25% of the arrow damage. But there's so many explosions that everything's just melting. The game might conceivably give up before we do. Deal area damage before you dash. Gain one dash. I'm going to need that extra dash probably to help stay alive a little bit. We only have three dashes, but we do have 10 health and a lot of damage output. I would still like the rear arrow. We have that come available for us. Nothing could get anywhere close to me. Even this far into the game, everything is just melting way out there. I do see the bouncing arrows kind of doing their thing, but levels are going to get harder and harder to come by. Our bounty is up to 115,000, so that's getting up there. Oh, look, a boss guy. Oh, he's getting close. Uh, so we're gonna need more damage to deal with them for sure so let's take a little bit more damage perhaps to 104 and stop for a sec the game had to think for a second there because uh, there's a lot going on okay let's try this enemies around you are 30 percent faster but take 50 percent more damage that's just gonna mean i do a lot more damage they're gonna come at me quicker but that's okay they die very quickly now so high risk high reward so i can take a few steps start my arrows going again take a few steps start my arrows going again that'll keep me out of the way of projectiles and i think we're doing up to 1400 per arrow now if i'm seeing that correctly or at least we were i'm not sure what that was about but yeah we're doing some shots for like extra damage and i don't know why Either way, I think we're going to be okay. Maybe. I'm also standing on a pile of hearts that will hopefully keep me alive. Your crits do 100% more damage. So that boosts them up to... I don't know. I'm seeing all sorts of readouts out there. Lots. But I kind of have to be moving at this colossal attack speed to be able to keep them at bay. So I need to move a little bit, pick up a bunch of these, move a little bit, pick up a bunch of these. But there's enough hearts on the ground too that I can get away with this really, really easily. Should we gain a lot more attack speed? I don't know if it's even worth it at this point. It's so quick already. Let's gain more health. That's going to be more damage and more health. It's also going to make us bigger and slower, but bigger and slower is the name of the game today. I mean, we're doing over a thousand damage per arrow and there's a lot of arrows going out. I think my best bet, honestly, is just to do this. Let all the power-ups and stuff build out out there. That way I can just boost into them later. The health will keep me going while I'm picking up all the experience. The bounty is going up quickly at this point. We're at $500 per second sort of thing. Something's hitting me and a chest appeared beside me. I didn't even see what put that there. This one's actually good. Slow down enemies by 70%. We did make them move faster, so now they'll all get hit and they'll get slowed down so they won't get as close to me as easily. Plus their projectiles are basically full-time touchers. I'm starting to feel a little bit of leg. I'm just kidding. I'm starting to feel a lot of leg. But we're level 40 and I haven't even picked up any upgrades in a while. <laughs> we're just destroying everything. Oh, there's a boss. I think when we kill him, we absorb all the upgrades now. We are killing him pretty easily. And considering what level we're at, that's a good sign. I'm going to gain three reroll upgrades for choices because I'm going to need good ones at this point to make a difference. Little upgrades are not going to do it for me anymore. Should I start trying to go for some upgrades at this point? I feel like the game's going to give up pretty soon, so I might have to start actually going for some upgrades. All right, I'm going to start going for a walk. I'd imagine there's a lot of upgrades out here. There we go. You gain much more damage from 109 to 126, so that's like a 25% increase in damage, which is absolutely absurd at this point. 
I'm gonna go around and just tank through some damage, pick up some upgrades. I'm actually gonna grab this, raise uh, the range of your area effect and pick up range, just so I can pick these things up without taking quite so much damage if I can help it. But as you can see, there's just a lot of stuff going on over here. Attract all collectibles around you when you eliminate a deputy. Yes, that's gonna be important. Crits deal 100% more damage. So that's gonna be big damage for us. I'm gonna stop in just a second, take out this horde of idiots. But for a moment, they're also gonna kinda follow me around because I get to say what they do. Ooh, look at all the upgrades down there. Okay, that hurt the game a lot. And we'll fend them off. We're back to doing like 2,000 something per uh, arrow, per shot. We just also killed the deputy. Uh, let's do this. Creates an explosion dealing four times damage upon getting hurt. Not really sure how that's going to work. Uh, we could raise the area of here by 40%. Why not? We're, oh, that's going to hurt the game a lot though. We're doing really big explosions and slow down and, and stuff. But we we're also picking things up from longer ways. So I might actually be able to get upgrades still. We, uh, we're, we're sucking them up from a long ways away now. Like we're actually killing these guys and taking their upgrades. Hmm. Well, this works. Okay, we're starting to take some damage now, so I'm going to move south. There we go. And now as we get hurt too, we clear them out. So that's okay. Move into some hearts, clear some out, grab some upgrades. Oh, upgrades are getting harder and harder to get. I've killed a lot of things and I didn't even get the proper upgrades. There is a deputy down there though. We'll kill him and hopefully grab everything nearby. Wow, they're getting tough. I guess we knew they were, but I didn't think they're going to be that tough because we're firing like 2,000 per arrow, plus the explosions, plus the piercing, plus the bouncing, plus the incredible amount of leg we have to deal with right now. But yeah, it's not to be... Okay, we need our health back to do damage, I just remembered. So lots of hearts over here. There we go. That's a little better. Is the deputy dead? Oh no, he's still... He's getting close to me again. That's okay. He'll be dead in a moment and the game's not going to love collecting all that stuff. And there we go. He's dead. This one's interesting. Emit an aura that deals 25% damage every 0.5 seconds. Our damage is pretty high, so that's gonna... These are also very good. I'm gonna take a lot more damage. That's gonna add another 10 base damage, another 120 crit damage, I guess. Something like that. So yeah, that's gonna be okay. So we're doing... I can't really see what it is. 20, 2500 per arrow. I feel like the game is breathing. Every once in a while has to take a deep breath to try and keep up with everything going on. It's always when to get into the 40s that levels really start to slow down a lot. It's just so hard to get enough experience. Oh, apparently we killed one of these guys though. Always target deputies, gradually increase your damage and attack speed until it dies. So we can get a 50% boost to damage and attack speed, like right now when there's a deputy on screen. He's gonna drop dynamite on us. I'm just gonna fire arrows at him. Okay, he's actually pretty quick, but look how much damage we're doing to him suddenly. Oh, because we're doing... What was the damage there? There's 3,500. I think I saw one appear for 5,000. Attract collectibles from further away. Yes, please. That'll keep me healed up nicely. I don't really see... Uh, I think I saw a damage rate for 8,000. I might be wrong. Someone in the comments let me know the big damage we're doing. I give up trying to count. It's not meant for me. And I forgot we also need our health at topped up. But we have 11 health, so we're okay. There's another deputy on screen, so that means damage and attack speed is going up rapidly. That was 9,900, I'm pretty sure. So we're at about 10,000 damage. That might have been into 10,000. Since I'm not sure what happened. It's getting hard to read. This is a good one. Dashing through enemies deals damage to them, reduces dash cooldown by 30%. That's actually really big. We also need some hearts. Okay, 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 we're gonna heal now. Okay, yeah, we're gonna heal. So much damage suddenly coming towards me. But also a lot of damage going out. I don't even know what's hitting me anymore. I can't really see at this point. I assume it's projectiles, but whatever the case. I am legitimately seeing hits for over 9,000 though, so I'm sure a few of them have done 10,000 if we're at full health. They're just hard to see. There's a deputy on screen. We're at full health, so the damage is gonna start to climb up quite a bit at least until we start getting her but he might die first it's a race to who dies first and he's just about dead he's did lower left he's hard to see we got him i guess we'll drop a dynamite before each dash that just gains us a dash mostly is what i'm after i couldn't care less about the dynamite we're doing ample damage without it oh i just realized we're almost dead i don't know what it was hitting me so much i kind of zoned out was dreaming about my next level up all right stupids come with me they're taking damage like this, but it's only like 500 at a time, and 500 isn't a lot of damage these days. This is, though. This will thin them out a bit, and we'll take a few steps, do it again. Yeah, we're gonna have to walk and spray a little bit. I'm gonna walk myself down to some hearts for that extra damage, because we kind of need it. Then I'm gonna make my stand right here in the hearts, where we can hopefully recoup as we get hit, but that'll keep the damage and speed going up a lot. There we are. That's better. 11 out of 10. Oh, I shouldn't have moved that little bit. That reset my attack speed. Well, whatever. I think we're gonna be okay here. We just need to watch our health very closely because the lower it gets, the more trouble we're getting into in a hurry. How are we not leveled up yet? We're like 99.9% .9 full. Give me my upgrade. Okay, we're gonna go straight through the mob. There it is. These are all really, really good. Gain much more damage. 118 to 130, whatever. So now our hits are even bigger by quite a margin. And we got two bosses on screen, which should be good for us as long as we can kind of uh, manage our uh, idiots long enough to kill them. Because they're just adding attack speed and damage to me the longer they're here for, really. Our bounty's up to 200 
265,000, so we're doing pretty good there. They kind of want to kill me pretty badly. Okay, we got three <laughs> deputies on screen. I wonder if they all stack to my damage, though. I hope they do. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to drop some dynamite. They're going to walk into that, and we're going to blast them with some more. My health is getting low. Don't know what's happening. Okay, we're not generating a lot of hearts anymore, so I do need to be very careful about how quickly I move. Because I don't want to surround myself with enemies. I want to pull them in a big old circle like this and spray into them every once in a while. think I'm lacking the damage to punch through these at this point. We're doing a lot of damage, but it's still not enough. They're so strong. And the game's getting pretty laggy. Like, it's a little hard for me to maneuver. I keep taking damage and I don't actually know what's hitting me anymore. So, uh, yeah, it was a good run. I'm going to make my last stand here because there's no more hearts to pick up. I just hope that, yeah, it was that quick. <laughs>